finally I got my hands on the Fenty Beauty <sighs> let's go hey guys welcome to my channel I hope you guys are great fine fantabulous and wonderful today you know what it is is going down if you guys know what I went through to get my Fenty Beauty products oh my like at one point, I thought I was going to have to square up. Like, I thought I was probably going to have to... Okay, weren't that deep. But my point is, I was waiting in a line for two hours. Had sis trying to push up on me. Like, do you know what? Let's just get into the products. Let me show you what I got. Just going to give you a little heads up. Obviously, I'm not no makeup artist. So, don't expect any... Oh, yeah. The way it lovers on my skin. The way it just... No. I know. I know. Just wait. Before we get into the video, I'm not sure if all of you guys have pressed that little button down there to subscribe, if you guys know what to do. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, press the like, you know, the thumbs up, what am I on Facebook? Press the thumbs up button so you can give it a big like, subscribe and comment down below so I can know what you guys got or what you guys thought. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday I went there and I basically was only planning. I went to Harvey Nichols, um, waited outside the store for about two hours. When I arrived, um, the line was basically going around the corner. So I finished work at 5.30, had to go all the way to Knightsbridge, got there, looked outside and I was like, I know this line ain't for what I think it is. So obviously, you know when you go and ask the people, oh, excuse me, <laughs> what's this line for? They were like, oh yeah, it's for um, Fenty Beauty. I was like, oh, bloody hell. But it's cool in it, join the line. I personally it was gonna be a quick bam, thank you, ma'am. But when I got there, I saw the queue. So going to the queue now, and this girl ends up next to me. I was thinking, is me and you come together or we come separate? Because I know it's one this girl's bit itch up itch up on me, you know. When I finally got in after two hours, I basically only wanted to get the foundation, but I ended up getting the foundation in the shade 420. This is what I thought that it would be when I looked on the website. So when I got there, she swatched it. She swatched a bit. She didn't swatch too much, but she swatched it and it looked like it was my shade. So let's just pray that the amount that I put on today is gonna amount to this being my shade, yeah? And it was the last one too. <laughs> I then also ended up getting the Trio Matchstick. Um, I got it in Deep 400. So this is basically the conceal, the highlight, and the contour. So it's suede, espresso, and cinnamon. Cinnamon's supposed to be like the shimmery highlight. Then I ended up also getting the um, the Kilowatt. Kilowatt in the color Trophy Wife, because I feel like this is a staple, like this is this is something that you have to have, like, so I got that and then I also ended up, like, I wasn't even going to come and get this, so I also got another kilowatt in the colour Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge, I wasn't going to get this and when she showed me this I was like, this could be my everyday colour, like, this would be it, so I got that and then me and my fast up fast up self i went and bought the lip gloss so i got the lip gloss as well the fenty glow so without further ado let's start playing right in all nearly like we're missing them yes i am going to open up my um my foundation so i'm gonna open it from the bottom i'm assuming now i already know from all the thousands of reviews i already know what the bottle is gonna look like so but so this is it this is 420 i'm hoping this is gonna match for some reason to be honest i'm not even gonna lie it looks like it's gonna be hella light and my friend she got uh 410 and she's like way lighter than me so this is what i was quite confused about but um yeah i didn't get any of the like applications the applicators like the brushes and whatnot because you know about to get tapped for dead but yeah mm. Bunker cotton already yet. I'm gonna see how many pumps it would possibly take. So I'm gonna do one pump. Let's do. Oh gosh, okay, no, I've ended up doing, guys, I'm sorry, I've done two. But as you can see, it is is very runny. Do you know what this consistency reminds me of? It reminds me of, you know, um, Maybelline in the bottle that you have to tip and pour? That's what that reminds me of. This is how you know I'm smart. Why did I pump it on this hand when this is the hand that I'm gonna have to and I'm holding the mirror on this <sighs> Okay, bloody hell mate 
Oh, I don't know. I don't think this is my colour. Maybe I should have got went one shade down. I don't know. Should I have went one shade down? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. If this oxidises, which in, I've heard it slightly does, then that would be amazing because then I personally feel like it would then come down to my actual proper skin tone. So hopefully it does. And to be honest, I need more than that because more than one, more than, um, more than two pumps because I've already, as you can see, I've already finished it. Let me pump it on the right hand and pump two more. It's very runny, like, honestly, it's, it's, don't mind my natural hair just peeping through, like, when it wants camera appearance, it just wants to be coming out, trying to get some limelight too. It's not your time yet, it's in a natural hair tutorial. I don't know. To be honest, I don't think it's full heavy coverage. I don't think it's as full of a coverage. Like, I use Black Opal. I don't think it's as full of a coverage as Black Opal. Like, when I put Black Opal on, I can feel that I've definitely, like, I can feel it. I can feel I've got it on. Um, so I'd say this is, like, medium. I'd definitely say this is medium. It's, it's definitely, it's got some of my marks, my black marks. It's definitely covered it um, well without me having to like colour correct um I don't know I'm a bit I think it goes but I don't know like you know when you're not trying to all of a sudden be light skin I don't know if I look like a ghost and I don't know what the camera is gonna make me look like I have no idea I don't know like I'm so bad at these things like a proper I don't know I think it matches well as you can see I didn't even need to bring it down and I've still got this left. We can have a scoop back, scoop back, but you can see that it's slow. It's. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush. You know me and this brush. That we come a long way, just to make sure. I like it. I definitely like it. Um, <laughs> I'm mad for doing this. Definitely the feel. It's a matte finish for me anyway. But obviously, no. What do you expect? I do. But obviously by the time I edit and film this, what it looks like here and what it looks like on the actual screen is two different things. But I like it. I think it suits me very well. Next we're going to go in with the colour Matchstick Trio. So let's open that from the bottom. Yes, I already know it's magnetic, so I don't. I can't even get happy about that. So as you can see, it's magnetic. We are going to use the suede to do my under eyes. I'm not even going to show you guys how much product comes underneath this because you guys probably have seen how much has come underneath already. Like, is that much? Um, whether that's a lot, I don't know. I don't really use concealer like that. Like, when I use my LA Pro Girl, as you guys can see, I don't even use that. The, you know some people, like, proper... You know what, you, what some people do? It's like they scrape butter and just... It's like they're doing toast. But spread the butter on the toast under their eyes. I feel like this will last me. Oh, this will last me some time just like that foundation would so let's go it looks really so it looks like a little um chocolate button and i was quite skeptical about this actually because i was thinking i don't know if it's as light as i want it to be under my eyes it's all right i guess and because it's quite thick and quite matte it pretty much still looks the same like nothing's been touched so i think this will definitely last it's not soft so it's not like you're going to go through it a lot i don't even know am i supposed to Am I supposed to um, do this with a damp brush or how much, how much, oh no, these are just, I don't like this, this see this, this is what I'm talking about, this is too much, on, on the mirror it doesn't look too much but here this looks a lot, like I would never put this much under my eyes, like do you know how hard this is for me to blend this out, um, okay, <laughs> let's try there, up here and i would usually do just a little bit there you know what? let's do it for the culture and as you can see this is literally it being at the bottom already like this is where it starts and i still got that much and me personally i me feel some use a lot already wow i like it i do and i'm not even saying like oh i like it because everybody else did because i'm not gonna lie when i looked at the reviews i was thinking Okay, everybody's saying they like it, like surely it can't be, but I do, I must say, 
I'm really worried guys like I'm really really worried because by the time I edit this then we're gonna use the color espresso to do your contour so I'm just gonna use this brush it's my primer brush <laughs> <laughs> see this is why i don't like to contour because i don't know if i'm doing it right i must say i'm not one who usually contours um tried a couple couple times the only time that i'll actually like contour is i'll just do my forehead and that's it i don't do my nose because i like my nose um sometimes i'll do cheekbone depending but not regularly not usually should i say because this whole, the less I can blend out, the better. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is really coming together really well. I must say, I'm quite happy this is coming together. Like, do you know what? Maybe that too. I, my wrath! I didn't even get to tell you what happened. So, in my niche, yes, I said in my niche. In my niche now, I'm on the tube. This girl is on the tube. Now, I don't know where she's going. I'm going Knightsbridge. Get to Knightsbridge, walk up the stairs, see the long piece of line around the corner. I'm like, rah, okay, cool. Go to the back of the queue, see this girl. Like, um, the, I see these two girls who are obviously in front of me because I've joined the back. And I'm like to them, oh, is this the Fenty line? They're like, yeah. No, I was like, what are you not lining? Is this? No, I said, what are you guys lining up for? She's like, oh, this is the Fenty queue. It's me. Oh, great. Then, you know when you can feel, like, say, yeah, you come with somebody. When me look good, I see the same girl that was on the tube standing right next to me. Like, say, is me and she come? So I'm like, nah, sister. Like, sis, sis, what is you doing, sis? We didn't come together. So I'm looking at her thinking, nah, maybe she's trying to find out some information too. Or she's trying to ask a question. As the line is, is decreasing and we're walking, as me move, she moved to so I'm like, nah, 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 nah. It's just what this girl thinks that this is really like this is not happening today. This is really not happening today. So I thought to myself, do you know what? Fine, whatever. Like by this time it was like six, five something. So the security guard comes outside and he's like, ah, oh, um, yeah, just to let you know, if you ain't near the door by 8:30, then you guys can't come in. So I'm like, well, first of all, it's 6.30 now. I can see the door. I'm just not near it. So, two hours. Of course, I'm going to get in. So, at that point, I'm like, well, sis, definitely, I, I'm not letting you I'm not letting you go. Like, I'm not. You know, at the goodness of my heart, this was at 9 o'clock in the morning. She's by herself. Fine, I will let her go forward. Then, it gets closer. It's like, what? Eight, it's, 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 no, it's, it's 7 o'clock now. The guy comes out bearing in mind i'm like a few feet away from the door security guard comes out oh just let you know that your chances of getting in are really slim telling everybody so i'm like sis sis just know just just know like when the crunch comes to the crunch <clears throat> then we get to the front now and there's like five people including me so the guy's counting is that who came first i'm like me then afterwards now he says, he signals to the guy, okay, let however, because basically you're all lining and they only let you out by numbers. So he's like, okay, let four people, let five people come through. So obviously I'm fifth. She thinks she's fifth. Not. So the four people walk. So me, I walk with my head high. I think, say, yeah. Me, I call me, no. As I get to the front, the guy goes, oh, no, no, wait, 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 one second. The girl tries to step in front. The way I had to move my hand like this and step out to Naya, black and black and Naya. yeah i had to literally maneuver around her and be like sister say you i'm not the one like you got the wrong person this is now slim chances i need to be in there and it's a good thing we're going in there before she because it's a good thing i got in there before her because i got the last of my shade the last of 420 so you can you imagine if she got in there and thought you know yeah i'm gonna get 420 then what i would have been so i would have been so angry i would have been so two hours i waited in the line two hours i would have been so pissed off so what i'm gonna do is Next is cinnamon, but I'm gonna pause there. I'm gonna use this for like my cheekbones and whatnot, but I'm gonna start on my eyes. We gonna use Kilowatt. So let's open it up, open it up. Let's have a look, let's see what's going on in here. Let's see. Okay, okay. 
Okay. So we got cute. Oh, it is holographic. So basically, it's because you can't see it, but it's got like a little purpley kind of glitter situation going on. And obviously, you guys have already seen what Killer What looks like, but just in case you y'all y'all know y'all know this is the Killer What. This no sorry, this is Trophy Wife. This is Trophy Wife. Okay, this is the wife to the trophy. Okay, this is the people that you give your graduation speeches to. Okay, right now I'm not really trying to go all out ham ham. I'm not trying to go all out ham ham. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some on my lids just to kind of see. How it is like i'm not really trying to be blah 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 so i'm gonna dab a bit on here on this random eyeshadow brush put it on and then what i'll do is i'll just go over with my finger if need be now i love a gold eyelid my only thing is is that i would probably use killer what if like i was going out out but i wouldn't use this on a day-to-day -day basis like i was just popping down the road or if i was going to work i wouldn't rock this but I do like the shimmer. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 thoughts. I feel like every time I use this, I'm going to have to say, oh no. Oh no, I've gone too high, guys. Oh, you see, this one, when I talk too much. Every time I use this, I'm going to have to sing Wild Thoughts. I, I haven't done a shadow like this since I went to church with my mum. Like, these... You know, in one shadow colours, I ain't done that. But I feel like with this, you could probably... Okay, no. I was going to say you could get away with it, but no. You need at least a transition colour and a wing. You know what? Let me do one wing quickly. I'm going to do one wing right now real quickly. Give me give me a moment. So, me a moment. I basically put my eyelashes on to obviously give me a bit of oomph. But, basically, I feel like the eyeliner and the eyelashes kind of take the attention away from the killer what now obviously i understand this because i don't have like the boldest eyeshadow as of now but because i want it to pop i might add a bit more uh, but you know i'm just gonna add it with my fingers and just try to right so now we're gonna go in with the um highlighting trio stick in the color cinnamon from what i'm getting from this so far is that if you want to add this don't do a line you can't really dab it but do like soft strokes and then i'm just going to use this brush it's a real techniques brush i don't even know which one it is oh angled highlighter brush oh it's the perfect brush anyway it's kind of i hate it when it's such like a sharp line so i can tell that this will definitely this all of these products are pretty much going to last me like i can just tell i can tell it's going to last like i can probably tell i like hear i do I must say I really do like it. I feel like this will go really, really well with um, the lip gloss. And then I'm going to go in with with the Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge. Which I'm quite annoyed because I feel like I should have used the Ginger Binge as a... Um, I should have used the Ginger Binge as a blush, but I didn't, which means I effed up. However, you know me... You know me, am I putting my blush on my forehead? So this is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to take Ginger Binge. We're going to take Ginger Binge and put that on my forehead. Hopefully it's not like proper, proper glittery. But take a bit of that. <laughs> Yo, I'm missing <laughs> Hey. Let me, guys, if you guys haven't started putting blush on your forehead... Poor boy. I don't know what we wait for, you know. And I think the fact that because I don't normally like putting highlight on my forehead, I hate it. I think it's so biased. But this, it has a little bit of a. I think because it's it's not shimmer shiny. It's like it's matteish with a little with a with just a, a tad a hint. Yeah. And you know what? I don't care. I like it. And I'm gonna put a bit on my nose. Just a little bit, just a tad. Oh. oh. And you guys know how I feel about my nose. You know I love my nose. <laughs> I can't stop. Mom, this, this was such a good investment. This was such a good investment. I think you're crazy. And then, and then, 
What we gonna do? We gonna take, we gonna take Moscow Mule. I'm so weary right now because I'm really bad at like dropping things like this. I'm really, at least it looks like you can't drop it because this looks like if you anyhow you drop this. It's all over Jackie. Like, I feel like it will just crush the smithereens. So we're gonna take the Moscow Mule and do the brow bone. I feel like you don't even need a lot, like. I don't even do brow bone, you know, but I'm doing it for the culture. Like, I'm doing it. Do it for the, I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the, I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the, Might have to start like I'm, I'm gonna have to start highlighting my brow bone because now I can see now I can actually understand and see why people get so excited like before I was like alright guys like it's just makeup it's just whatever it is but no like I'm actually oh wait did I put I'm actually understanding why people are behaving like key stage four like I'm, underst I'm understanding now guys, like, forgive me, I'm understanding. Do you know what, I'm gonna do it for the culture too. I don't normally do this part, but I'm gonna do it. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I feel like I've got to, like, how am I gonna be able to get an honest review if I don't do what everybody, I, I have to, I have to. You know, I, I, I know my nose looks, it looks like I've got a cold right now, but we ain't done. We're gonna put a bit of the Moscow Mule on the top because I just love, like, I just love my nose. I know, it looks like I've got a cold right now, but it's the pink. I don't care. Snort, snort, bitch. I don't care. I was given my ver my first Vox box by um, Influencer, and I've teamed up with Bourgeois Paris. So, um, I'm going to use one of theirs, because obviously now it's time for lips. So, I'm going to use their... Um, contour basically their lip primer and i'm gonna use color one i'm gonna use color one and then i'm gonna basically put rihanna's lip gloss on top of it so let's go do you know what i realized i didn't even do i didn't even do any setting powder that's why i go here sometime life i feel just every makeup makeup more cool with one thing that i do like about this when i use this color shade um i was quite weary this is number one it is um hey nude um, i was quite wary of this because obviously with black girls and girls of my color i feel like if you wear a shade like this it looks like you've eaten a powdered donut um so when i first started using it i would always wear like a brown lip liner with it um but then something told me one day you know what branch out and do it by itself and since i've done it i like the fact that you can just wear it by itself like you can actually just it doesn't bleed so and i was a bit weary as well because like when you put it on although it's a matte um but you can kind of see where it's like spaced but then it settles because when i first put it on i was like ill then i put it then i left it for a while for like a couple seconds like 30 seconds and then it just it literally went into place so i'm gonna everybody's seen what rihanna's lip gloss looks like by itself so i'm gonna see it on top of this her only lip gloss i know for a fact that her next like when she comes out with her new stuff definitely there's going to be lipsticks i definitely for a fact know that there's definitely going to be lipsticks and if she comes up with some palettes i'll definitely i have to like i have to do i have to i have to get it i have to this smells like it smells like oh what are those um what are those lip glosses that those lip balm things that we used to get in year seven in the hair shop in ace in catford that's what that smells like. I can't remember, is it lip snacker or whatever? The wand is fat. Like, the wand is fat. It smells so good, I want to eat it. I actually want to eat this. No, this smells like... It smells like Bubaloo. Who remembers Bubaloo? It smells like strawberry Bubaloo. Mm. Uh... I don't think it's one to mix with another product. I feel like it will come up with that, you know that gook where it's in like your mouth corner? I feel like it's a real thick gloss, but eventually the more you talk, 
the more you'll have like all that disgusting stuff that comes around the side or maybe that's why I just don't really like glosses in the first place to be fair I'm not really a gloss person but I was like nah go do it for the culture I was so caught up in the moment I forgot to bloody highlight my cupid's bow so as you can see I'm quite pleased I'm actually I have to say I'm quite pleased um <clears throat> in terms of pricing the foundation was 26 pounds um the kilowatts was 26 pounds and the trio six was i think it was 42 pounds um the lip gloss was 16 the lip gloss was 16 pounds um would i say that's a good price to be honest i don't think i'm one to say whether it's a good price or not because i don't really wear high-end makeup like that anyway a lot of my makeup is from superdrug boots hair shop black opal so i can't really tell you whether that's a good price or not like this is the first time that i'm branching out to like 26 pound normally i'd pay 12 pounds top it does the job like you know what i mean so 26 pound take it how it is if you kind of think it's worth it or not 16 pounds for a lip gloss is what it is whatever you think it is i'm not trying to like i said i can't tell you um the foundation i'm really really happy with i'm happy i bought the foundation and the kilowatt um i think the main thing that i really really liked and i'm glad i bought it because i wasn't going to go and buy it was the um was the moscow mule and the ginger binge i really was i just went in there straight away for trophy wife i wasn't gonna get this and i'm really happy that i got this because i said to the woman in the shop that this is something that i would wear every day like this is such a neutral color i feel like it's not overpowering and um, i can be loud but i'm not that loud of a person to be rocking trophy wife every day like some people will rock some people will rock trophy wife every day as a highlight i can't i'm not that one this will probably be for occasions but ginger binge and especially moscow mule yeah i love my pinks and my neutrals so um in terms of the concealer um I think it's blended in very well. I was quite skeptical, especially because it brought out my pores. I didn't get the primer, which and I know when a product comes out with foundation, you should get the primer because the primer works solely with the foundation. So then you can really judge whether the foundation is good or not. But to be honest, I love, I think she's kind of going for a natural kind of skin feel. Um, I have heard that it oxidizes, but I haven't seen it oxidize much. Well, obviously I haven't really been filming for that long, um, but yesterday when the lady tested it on me it didn't go darker by the time i got home so i think it'll be fine and at the beginning i thought that it was going to be so light i didn't think it was going to really blend in well but it's come together nicely and I'd, maybe it has oxidized and adjusted to my skin tone to come down um i like it like i would definitely if i ran out of um the foundation i'll definitely buy that again i think if trophy wife if i run out of trophy wife i wouldn't be in a rush to go and buy it again i wouldn't replace it but ginger binge and moscow mule i would definitely replace that without a doubt the concealers would i be in a rush mm, i'm not too sure i definitely would use them um and i would definitely use cinnamon as well um but whether i'd be out in a rush there was um she has like the sticks that you could buy separately um and one of them was blue and i do want to get the blue one i do want to try that one and see how that one looks i know you guys are probably thinking blue when i spoke to my friend i was like yeah i want to get the blue one for my nose she's like blue i was like yeah anything to put on my nose i'll put on it but i hope you guys liked um the video and i hope you guys liked like the products and stuff that i got how did you guys find it did you guys like it is there anyone that actually doesn't like her products like if you actually don't like it comment down below so i can see and tell me why because i actually want to know because everyone that i've seen it so far it's been really good reviews so i actually want to know it's bad i'm, I'm not saying i want to breed negativity but is it really that good that everybody is saying it's good like it, for someone that hasn't bought it it seems like it's too good to be true i would definitely recommend the foundation though so guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button, press like, comment down below, start a conversation with me, talk to me, like I like talking to you guys, and share this video as well. If anything, I will see you in the next one. Let's get Riri to 500 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I know you guys can do it. Peace, capiche. See you later, alligator.